All right, so here is a video on how you are going to make distance versus time graphs and also how you are going to represent motion with dots. All right, now you should have already filled out a worksheet that went over a bunch of terms like things like at rest, speed, velocity, constant motion, constant velocity. So when I say those things, you should uh, know what I'm referring to, all right? If you have not done that worksheet yet and looked up all those things and know what I'm referring to when I say things like an object starts from rest or an object moving at constant velocity, if you don't know what that means, you need to go back and do that worksheet um, and make sure you know what, what those things are because you're, this is not going to make any sense until you do so. All right, so what we're going to start with is the first, uh, one of the first few objectives on there was I can communicate and describe motion with graphs and I can communicate and describe motion with dots. We're going to talk about both of those things right here. So we're going to um, show you how do you communicate and describe motion with a graph and, and with a dot, okay? So, um, we're going to start with graphs, all right? And what we're going to do here is we're going to start by just looking at what our, our axes are set up as. So, the y-axis is position or distance, all right? And the units there are meters. Um, and then time is our x-axis, and the units there are seconds. Um, Time will always be on our x-axis here um, for pretty much any of the graphs that we do. Time is always on the x-axis. Um, then uh, this is a d versus t graph, so this is distance versus time is usually how these are uh, titled. And so this is what we're looking at here. Uh, when you imagine, imagine you stand in one place, so you're standing at rest, and let's say you are five meters from, let's call it the starting point, okay? So you're five meters from the starting point, um, and you just stay there. What would the graph of that motion look like? Well, if you're just standing there, not moving, all right, you would, I'm going to do this in blue so you can see it, you would produce this graph. Your position is staying five meters away from the starting point the whole time. Now, this is what's a little bit different in physics and science than um, maybe what goes on in your math class. We call the starting point the origin. It's like where you start or where you originate your motion. Um, what is the origin on this graph? Well, on this graph, the origin is the entire x-axis. This is your starting point. That's zero distance, right? I know in math class, the origin is, is zero, zero. It's where the x and the y intercept, uh, the x and y axis intercept. It's not the case in, in physics. So the origin is this whole point here where it's zero distance, right, which is the entire x-axis. So right now it is five meters from the origin the whole time. So a flat line shows an object that is not moving. So this would be at rest, okay? And so that shows something that's at rest. Now, for dots, what do we mean by dots? Well, imagine that um, if you've ever heard the story of Hansel and Gretel, where they're walking through the the forest and they're leaving breadcrumbs um, to leave a trail to, to find their way home. Um, it's similar to that. Imagine that you're laying down a marker or a dot every second, right? Um, and the dot is just going to be a marker for what your position is. So if you are at rest, that means that your dots if you lay one down every second, so one dot represents one second. So the first second you're there, well, the second second, you're gonna be in the same spot. Now, we're imagining that we're moving uh, to the right and to the left. We're not moving up and down. We're moving from left to right here. 
all right? And so if we're talking about in terms of moving left to right, well, my first dot would be there, my second dot would be there, my third dot would be there, fourth dot would be there, five dot, fifth dot would be there. So that would be one, two, three, four, five seconds, all in the same place, right? Because we have not moved forward. And so this would be at rest. This would be dots at rest, okay? Okay, so let's talk about what happens if we start moving uh, we actually start moving, okay? So if we move, let's say we are going to start at the origin or at the starting point, and we're going to walk away from it slowly, okay? So if we walk away from it slowly, it means our, our position or our distance from the origin will go up, but it'll go up a little bit. It won't go up very much. So it's not going to be a very steep line. It's going to be a fairly flat line. And, but it's going to be a straight line. Our distance is going up at a constant rate. So this is constant motion away from the detector. So what we would label this is this would be constant motion away from the origin. And we might also put in there that this is fairly slow uh, because it's not going very fast. Okay, now if we were going fast, our position or our distance from the origin would change much quicker. It'd go up much faster. So in the same amount of time, it would, we'd move a further distance. So our position would be higher. And so it would look something like this, all right? And so this would be constant motion away, but this would be fast because it is a steeper line. So when you're talking about graphs, a a flatter line is slow. A steeper line is fast. Okay, now when we go over here and talk about dots, if we are talking about constant velocity or constant motion, we have the same motion every time. And so what ends up happening is we get the same distance being traveled each second. Now pretend those are all in a straight line. I'm trying to do the best I can here on my mouse pad, but <clears throat> is what it is. And also pretend that they're all the same distance apart, but constant motion means it has the same velocity. So it's covering the same amount of distance, the same amount of time. So this would be one second, two seconds, three seconds, four seconds, five seconds. And so this would be constant motion, and this would be fairly slow. And the reason it would be slow is because the dots are fairly close to each other, all right? Now, if we wanted to speed things up a bit and go a little faster, starting at the same spot. Now, if we're going faster, that means we move more distance in the same amount of time. So we're traveling further each second. like so, so the dots are more spread out. So I travel this far in a second instead of just this far in a second. So this would be constant motion fast is what this would be. So this is constant motion fast, All right? Now it's important to note no, when we say slow and fast, that doesn't mean how fast we put the dots down. We put the dots down every second. So that's one second, two seconds, three seconds, four seconds, five seconds. This is one second, two seconds, three seconds, four seconds, five seconds. We're doing it at the same time, right? We're just traveling further each interval, okay? Now... Let's talk about the next thing that really kind of only pertains to graphs, so we won't have to uh, talk about um, dots a whole lot with this. But let's say that we change directions, so we walk a different direction. So let's say now we start away from the origin and walk towards the origin instead of walking away from it. 
So if we walk towards the origin, now my line starts up here and slopes like so. Okay, and we're walking toward the origin. Now, this again, fairly flat line, this would be pretty slow. So this would be constant motion toward, and this would be slow. Constant motion. And so we're moving towards the origin in this case. Now, if we want to go faster, we just make the line steeper. So now we're going much st steeper. We're covering more position in the same amount or in less time. And so this would be constant motion toward, but this is fast. Whoops, sorry, hit the wrong button. And it goes right there, All right? Now, uh, when we're doing dots, we don't ever draw dots going from right to left. We always draw them left to right. So even if I had you put dots for this motion, it would look like this. So this would be constant motion slow, right? Because the dots are equally spaced. And then the second set of dots would be constant motion fast. Again, constant motion because the in the slow part, each dot is equally spaced. We're going the same distance in the same amount of time. And for the fast, we're going the same distance in the same amount of time. We're just going more, all right? All right, so what happens if we start doing some things like this, where now I want to walk away from the detector for three seconds, stop for three seconds, and then come back to the origin very quickly. All right, so what would that look like? Well, if I'm walking away for three seconds, I'd walk away for, let's say, three seconds. Let's say that's about three seconds on our graph. When we walk, we'd be at rest for three seconds and then walk back towards the origin very quickly. So that would be a very steep line back to the origin just like that. So walking away for three seconds at constant velocity, at rest, and then walking again. Now, with dots, this is difficult to do because, again, we can't go back. We can't change directions with dots, so I won't even draw dots for this one. Okay, uh, let's try another one. Uh, what happens if we walk away for uh, two seconds very slowly, uh, stand at rest for three seconds, and then walk away very fast? Okay, so if we do something like that where we're walking away very slowly for two seconds, stand at rest. So this should be flat, pretend that's flat for two seconds, and then walk away very fast. So then the line would get very steep. So walk away slow, at rest, walk away very fast. All right. How would we draw dots for this for two seconds? So we're our first dot, that's zero seconds. We haven't started moving yet, so we won't count that one. So for two seconds, we walk away very slowly. So one, two, very slowly. Then we're at rest for two seconds, one, two for two seconds, and then we walk away very fast. Now this is where one, two, and let's say we did that for three seconds, three. But you notice here we have constant velocity slow because the dots are close to each other. We have at rest there, and then we have constant velocity fast away. All right, okay. Um, I'm going to have you practice one that I want you to do on your own paper. And so what you need to do here is when I give you the uh, situation, you need to um, hit pause, draw it, and then um, you will, uh, once you draw it, then uh, you'll have to hit play and see how you did. So here's the situation. Uh, this is what you're going to graph. We're not going to do dots for this, just graph, okay? Uh, you're going to walk away from the detector for three seconds, stop for three seconds, walk away from the detector for three more seconds, and then immediately walk back all the way to the origin very quickly. So go ahead and hit pause and uh, draw this on your own paper. Okay, so here's what you would get. 
If you're walking away for three seconds, you'd walk away for three seconds. You'd hit be at rest for three seconds, a flat line for three